Kansas State football, billed as the greatest turnaround in college football history, and rightfully so. In just six short seasons under revolutionary coach Bill Snyder, the Kansas State Wildcats had climbed from the depths of the college football world to their first ever bowl win and top 20 finish. But what would Kansas State do for an encore? That was the question the nation asked last summer after the Wildcats had capped off their finest season in school history with a 52-17 win over Wyoming in the Copper Bowl and a number 18 final ranking in the national polls. It was a valid question. K-State's 1994 squad would be missing 10 starters from the talented 93 unit. And even Bill Snyder said entering the season that every team in the Big 8 could improve in 1994, but that Kansas State may have the toughest task of all. Kansas State answered the question with another nine-win season, another bowl bid, another national ranking, and a trip to the nation's top 10. Bill Snyder and company again turned in one of the greatest coaching jobs ever in college football as the Wildcats stormed to a 9-2 regular season with their only setbacks coming in the final minutes, the national champion Nebraska and number four ranked Colorado. The Wildcats continue to blaze a trail in the national scene to earn a number eight ranking in the final regular season poll, the highest ranking in school history. In fact, the Wildcats have been ranked in one or both polls for 25 of the last 27 weeks. A true sign that the Wildcats have arrived as a national power. CNN named Bill Snyder its National Coach of the Year after the Wildcats completed back-to-back nine-win season for the first time in school history. But even more impressive was the way in which Kansas State achieved those nine wins in 1994. Most notably, the Wildcats chalked up road wins at Oklahoma and Kansas for the first time in more than 20 years. Also won on the road at Nevada, Las Vegas, and Missouri. Overall, in 1994, Kansas State football answered an interrogative with a statement. K-State football and head coach Bill Snyder had certainly arrived, and it had no intention of leaving. K-State's 1994 season opener served as a perfect prelude of things to come. An opportunistic defense for six turnovers against Southwest Louisiana. Jake DeLome, the quarterback. Uh, now the snap goes over his head. There's a loose ball back at the 30-yard line. The ball is free. Southwestern Louisiana chasing, so it's Kansas State. The ball is still free inside the 20, and K-State's got that football at the 19-yard line. And the Wildcats' high-powered offense took all of two plays to put the first points of the season on the board for Kansas State against the Raging Cajuns. Left in the slot left is Ron Brown at a receiver. Kevin Lockett wide to left. Quick pass right. Pass caught by Ty Schweiger at the five. He drags a man into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Tyson Schweiger. The Wildcats jumped on top 17 to nothing after one quarter and never looked back in routing the Cajuns 34-6 at KSU Stadium. In doing so, the Wildcats unveiled a new offensive weapon in wide receiver Tyson Schweiger, who hauled in five receptions, including two touchdowns, on the way to a record-breaking season. They'll snap the football just in time. May, two-step drop. Now Lund loads over the middle. He's got Schweiger wide open at the 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. Tyson Schweiger, for the second time tonight, finds the end zone. 38-yard pass play for a K-State touchdown. It was another season-opening win for Kansas State, the fifth straight such win under head coach Bill Snyder. Kansas State's 27-18 win over Rice in Week 2 seemed less than spectacular at the time, but probably took on more significance as the year progressed. Later, the Rice Owls would defeat Texas and would come within one game of representing the Southwest Conference in the Cotton Bowl. The stubborn Rice Owls jumped on top 10 to three, but when push came to shove, the Wildcats were able to move the ball. All everything quarterback Chad May proved to the Owls and the nation 
And not only could he throw the football, but he could run the ball if need be. Second down goal to go for the Cats at the five. One back set, the Cats will option. May is going to keep, touch the football, dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas State. Chad May fumbled the ball, but not until he had crossed the plane of the goal line. And Kansas State has an answer for Rice's touchdown with one of their own. Not playing for Rice today. First and 10 for K-State at the Rice 45. Back to throw May. Fires a pass caught by running at the 35 at the 30. Angles to the near boundary. Forced out of bounds at the Rice 24-yard line. It's a gain of 21 yards. Second and three, Kansas State at the Rice 17 out of the shotgun. May wants to throw on second and short. Firing a pass left side. Pass caught at the one-yard line by Tyson Schweiger. Great throw by May. Kept it low and then Schweiger with a good low catch. And talk about Chad May with his thimble out. It looked like a quilting bee as he just knifed the football right in there. Hand off to J.J. Smith. Up over the stack of owls for a touchdown. One yard run by J.J. Smith. K-State regains the lead. Rice later cut the Wildcat lead to four. But the Purples responded with a big May to Schweiger play to seal the deal. Four seconds on the play clock. Snap from Jason Johnson to May. May looks right all the way. Now turns. Now he's going to gun it down the far boundary. Looking for Schweiger. Makes the catch at the five. Schweiger leaps. Touchdown, Tyson Schweiger. Kansas State. What an athletic catch. And then a dive into the end zone. The Cats with an outstanding 30-yard pass play. Number three for Kansas State was billed as K-State's first major test of the season. As the Wildcats scored an A on their test with a suffocating defense and big play offense to outman the Big Ten's Minnesota Golden Gophers 35 to nothing at KSU Stadium. The Wildcat defense held Minnesota's potent offensive attack to less than 200 yards in registering its first shutout since 1992. The Gophers moved the ball early but the Wildcats survived an early scare when Clyde Johnson intercepted this pass in the Minnesota end zone. That seemed to spark the Wildcat offense as they took control of the game in the second quarter. Tied in and flanker to the right side as Chad May now runs a draw play to J.J. Smith. He's at the 40-35 and he's got a first down at the go for 33 yard line, a gain of 12. A different look for Kansas State. Four seconds on the play clock. 12.08 left to go and they go on the draw play to J.J. Smith. He runs into a gopher. Now breaks a tackle. 25-20. J.J. 15. Outside to the 10. He's tackled from behind inside the 10. Down to the 8 yard line. A 21 yard run. Second effort by J.J. Smith. This drive for K-State started at their own 28 yard line. One back, J.J. Smith behind Chad May on second and goal. Back to throw is May. Fires left side, running at the five angles. Left side, touchdown, Kansas State. Chad May read the blitz. Kansas State's in the end zone as Mitch running his first touchdown catch of the year. K-State under Bill Snyder has featured some of the nation's best special teams plays. And Minnesota found out in a big way as Mike Lawrence came through to block this gopher punt. Snap back to Hubbard. He takes a long time to get it off, and the kick is blocked. The kick is blocked and out of bounds at the Minnesota 23-yard line. Now fueled with good field position, the Wildcats once again hit the May to Schweiger combination. Chad May uses an audible. Three seconds on the play clock. Takes the snap from Jason Johnson. Gophers are blitzing. Fader out to the end zone. They're looking for Schweiger. He has the catch. Touchdown! Tyson Schweiger. It's a touchdown.